Welcome to the Unraveling the Scriptures channel. The enigmatic pyramids of ancient Egypt remain, without a doubt, one of the few surviving relics of the ancient world that evoke fascination, mystery, and even a certain fear. These millennia-old monuments intrigue millions of people around the globe, not only for their grandeur, but mainly for their origins shrouded in mystery. Over the centuries, various theories have emerged to explain their construction, ranging from stories of fallen angels and biblical giants to bolder speculations involving aliens and connections to the legendary Tower of Babel. Each new hypothesis seems to lead us to a new enigma, and the more we investigate, the more questions arise. After all, who really built these monumental structures, and what secrets do they still hold? If you also wonder about these mysteries, and want to embark with us on this journey of theories and discoveries, the origins of the pyramids of ancient Egypt, their secrets and mysteries. According to the Holy Scriptures, the origin of the Egyptian people traces back to Mizraim, one of the sons of Ham and grandson of Noah. According to the Bible, Mizraim gave rise to the Egyptians, known to Semitic peoples as Mizraites or Mizraines. To this day, in languages such as Arabic, Hebrew and Aramaic, the term used to refer to Egypt remains Mizraim. This historical and linguistic link is a fascinating reminder of how biblical antiquity is deeply intertwined with Egyptian civilization. When we discuss the pyramids of Egypt, we inevitably encounter the great mystery surrounding their origins. Scholars agree that the pyramids were built around 2200 BC. However, there is debate among researchers, with some suggesting even older or contemporary dates for these monumental constructions. The truth is that there is no absolute consensus on the exact date of their construction. The largest of the pyramids, known as the Great Pyramid of Giza, originally stood at a height of approximately 492 feet, about 150 meters. Today, due to natural wear and possibly earthquakes, it measures about 482 feet, approximately 147 meters. Still, it is hard not to be impressed by its grandeur, which, over thousands of years, continues to challenge both time and our capacity for understanding. The pyramids remain a fascinating mystery for scientists and curious minds alike. How was it possible, over 4,000 years ago, to raise such immense structures with seemingly limited technology? Even with modern advancements, we do not have cranes capable of lifting the stone blocks that make up these edifices, and this only deepens the mystery. For example, the smaller blocks used in the construction of the pyramids weigh around 2.5 tons, or 5,500 pounds, while the larger ones can reach an impressive 80 tons, 176,000 pounds. This fact raises a series of questions. How did an ancient people, without modern machinery, achieve such a feat? The engineering of the pyramids, with their perfectly fitted gigantic blocks, leads many to speculate about advanced construction techniques, sophisticated astronomical knowledge, and of course, the eternal question of how the materials were transported and positioned. To this day, science has no conclusive answer regarding how the ancient Egyptians accomplished these feats. The mystery continues to intrigue minds around the world. The pyramids are not just monuments to the power and beliefs of a civilization. They are also a reminder that, in certain respects, ancient wisdom can be as intriguing as the advancements of modern technology. This is what makes the pyramids of Egypt one of the greatest enigmas in human history. Can you imagine what 80 tons is? Try to visualize a single stone block with that immense weight being lifted to a height of nearly 500 feet in the middle of the desert, and this was about 4,000 years ago. The pyramids of Egypt are not only imposing in appearance, but they also represent a true enigma in terms of engineering. How did the ancient Egyptians manage to move and position these gigantic stones without the technology we have today? Even after centuries of study, these questions remain unanswered, further fueling the mystery and fascination surrounding these colossal structures. Another intriguing point is the extraordinary precision with which the blocks of the pyramids were cut. Each stone was carved with impressive perfection, 
showing no visible signs of flaws or irregularities. It is as if these blocks had not been cut or sculpted with rudimentary tools, as would be expected for that time. On the contrary, they seem to have been shaped with a precision that even modern techniques would struggle to achieve. This detail further confuses scholars. How could such an ancient civilization cut such immense stones, some weighing up to 80 tons, or 176,000 pounds, with such perfection? There are no saw marks or common tools to explain the process. These gigantic stones appear to have been cut, as if they were working with something as simple as butter being sliced by a knife. This geometric and technical perfection challenges contemporary logic and science. Some theories suggest the use of methods we are still unaware of, while others speculate about lost knowledge or advanced techniques beyond imagination. In any case, these mysteries continue to intrigue archaeologists, engineers and scientists, and they may be part of the great legacy that the pyramids left for humanity. The ability to inspire fascination with the unknown and the desire to unravel the seemingly impossible. Due to the countless mysteries surrounding ancient Egypt, both in the past and today, this civilization has often been related in the field of ufology to the hypothesis of extraterrestrial existence. Among the most discussed theories is the idea that aliens may have played a crucial role in the construction of the pyramids, using technology that was too advanced for the time. This view suggests that these colossal monuments were erected with the assistance of beings from another planet, contributing to the evolution of the earliest human civilizations. While this is just one of many circulating theories, it sparks fascination and debate, fueling the curiosity of scholars and enthusiasts alike. Furthermore, these theories reinforce the idea that ancient Egypt remains an inexhaustible source of speculation and discovery, always challenging the limits of our knowledge about humanity's past. Regarding the period when the pyramids were built, most scholars suggest that the pyramids of Egypt were erected about 4,200 years ago. However, there are other researchers who propose different dates, such as 4,500 years ago or even 5,000 years ago. There is no definitive consensus among scholars and curious minds on this subject, and opinions vary considerably. An interesting interpretation regarding when the pyramids were built comes from some biblical scholars and interpreters of sacred scriptures. They suggest that the pyramids of Egypt were constructed before the biblical flood. According to this theory, the ancient Egyptians arrived in the region now known as Egypt after the flood and found the pyramids already in existence. They would have merely renovated these structures, which had been there for a long time. This interpretation is supported by several individuals who believe that the pyramids are so ancient that they predate Noah's flood, making them pre-flood constructions that were only restored by the Egyptians at later times. Many scholars and curious individuals who share the view that the pyramids were built before Noah's flood assert that the supposed gods of ancient Egypt were, in fact, fallen angels or demons. According to this biblical interpretation, these fallen beings created and helped erect the pyramids, endowing the Egyptians with magical powers, witchcraft, levitation spells, and other occult practices. These rituals would allow magicians, sorcerers, and witches in Egypt to break apart the gigantic rocks of the blocks and make them float, enabling the construction of the pyramids. This line of thought suggests that the technology and knowledge used to raise these monumental structures were granted by these fallen angels. Within this perspective, some believe that the fallen angels assisted the inhabitants of the region of Egypt even before the emergence of Egyptian civilization in constructing the pyramids. Additionally, there are those who argue that the ancient Nephilim mentioned in the Bible aided the Egyptians in the renovation and reconstruction of these pyramids after the flood. These ideas support the notion that the pyramids were built by forces beyond human capability, explaining the mystery of their proportions and precision. There are records of tombs and graves of giants in ancient Egypt. However, this is a topic for another video. Just to mention briefly, there are tombs and sarcophagi that are about 15 feet tall, made for giants. Archaeological finds of skeletons and even body parts of these giants have also been discovered. In Egypt, these anomalies have been uncovered, according to scholars who accept this theory. 
These giants measured between 13 and 16 feet tall, with some others being around 10 feet. They possessed incredible strength and, according to this interpretation, would have helped the ancient Egyptians in the construction of the pyramids, providing their immense strength to lift the heavy stone blocks. Another line of thought relates the ancient pyramids of Egypt, these gigantic buildings made of blocks weighing about 176,000 pounds, to the Tower of Babel. The pyramids of Egypt are often associated with the Tower of Babel. For those who are unaware, the Tower of Babel was so immense that it reached the clouds, as described in the Book of Genesis and in Jewish and Islamic traditions. Although the Tower of Babel was not a pyramid, scholars claim it resembled the ancient ziggurats found in modern-day Iraq. Now, I would like to know your opinion on the pyramids of Egypt. What is your interpretation, considering everything we have discussed in this video? They remain a living mystery to this day. Do you believe they were built by fallen angels before the flood? Or that giants erected them soon after the flood? Or do you see a strong and direct connection between them and the Tower of Babel? Thank you for watching the video this far. May God bless you, and I'll see you soon.